At this point, you definitely need to be utilizing TikTok within your marketing strategy. I mean, they have a whole hashtag that says TikTok made me buy it. So whether you're doing drop shipping, print on demand, private labeling, like it doesn't matter. Whatever your e-commerce business is, you need to incorporate TikTok ads into your marketing strategy. So in this video, I really want to give you a step-by-step, -step, totally beginner friendly tutorial on how to run TikTok ads. And I'm gonna show you how to set up your account and some of the best strategies that you can utilize to get you the best return on investment possible. Now, if you're new here, my name is Antonio. I am a master's in internet marketing and I'm a paid media consultant for a Fortune 500 company and I manage over $30 million worth of ad spend across several different social media platforms so you can trust and swear by the information that I'll be giving you in this video. So if everything sounds good, let's get into this tutorial. So first things first, you want to set up your TikTok ad account, and it's actually pretty easy to do. Um, you're going to put in your email, your password, and then they're going to send you a verification code to your email. Once you get that, you put that in, and then they're going to ask you what is your business name. If you don't have one, just put one in, and then your address um, for your business. Again, just put in your home address if you don't have like a virtual address or actual business address. So nothing super deep. Um, or out of the ordinary. I will say a lot of people ask me, can they connect their existing TikTok account with this TikTok ad account? And the answer is yes. And I'll show you how to do that a little bit later because I know some people want to use videos from their existing TikTok account and use it with their ad account. Um, so yes, you can do that. Okay, so now that you've actually created the account, your account should look something like what you're seeing right now on my screen, just a completely blank account and the first thing that you're going to want to do is set up your TikTok ad pixel now the reason why you want to set this up is because you want to make sure that you're tracking all the data on your website and you're giving it to TikTok. okay if you're familiar with the facebook ad pixel it's essentially the same thing so all these social media platforms learn through data and this data allows them to serve better ads to your ideal, you know, audience, okay? And so the more information that you give to TikTok about your website and how people interact with it, the purchases, they can then, you know, serve your ads to the right audience so you get better performance by better click-through rates, better cost per clicks, right, or CPC, and ultimately you get more purchases for a lower cost. So you definitely wanna set up your TikTok pixel um, and do not listen to anyone that tells you that you don't need it, you do, because you're gonna be spending more money over time if you don't you know, set up your pixel. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to ad sets and then under that, you're gonna wanna click events. And then there's gonna say app events and then there's gonna be web events. You're gonna wanna click web events boom and then you're just gonna type the name for your pixel nothing crazy get money pixel you feel me boom and then you're gonna click TikTok pixel hit next and then you want to do automatic setup through web events and platforms next and then you want to click Shopify okay hit next and from there you're gonna want to add the Shopify app to your Shopify store it's very easy to do you're just gonna get, click connect, okay? Add the app, and then you are gonna wanna do manage cookie, allow first party cookies, and then you're gonna wanna do automatic advanced matching. Click next. It's gonna show you, you know, da data sharing right here. You're gonna wanna click, you know, maximum, right? You want all the data as possible, right? Click next. Then it's gonna show you the events. So it's gonna be complete payment, initiate, check out all this stuff, right? And so when we actually talk about campaign structure, you're, these are gonna pop up and I'm gonna tell you how to utilize these events, which is essentially just the funnel that you take your customers through, right? And then you're gonna hit complete. Since I already have one set up, I'm not gonna completely set it up, but it's fairly easy to set up your pixel with Shopify. Just make sure that you follow these instructions on screen. Okay, so now that you've set up your TikTok 
pixel now you're ready to set up your first campaign and i'm going to walk you through it step by step okay so first thing that you're going to want to do is click create an ad boom okay from there you're going to see simplify mode or custom mode i always like running my ads in custom mode um, it just gives you way more control. So I would click custom mode, boom. And then what you're gonna see is your advertising objectives. And if you're familiar with a sales funnel, it's gonna look pretty much exactly the same. At the top of the funnel, there's awareness. In the middle of the funnel is that consideration. This is where your you know, ideal customer is kind of deciding if they should purchase your product or not. And then um, the end is when they make that purchase, which is a conversion, okay? And so now I really wanna go over which objective is gonna make the most sense for you depending on where your Shopify store or drop shipping store is, okay? So if you have a completely brand new uh, drop shipping store, what you're going to want to do is run essentially two campaigns okay you're going to want to run a traffic campaign and you're going to want to run a conversion campaign okay and the reason why you want to run these two campaigns pretty much at the same exact time is because you're a completely new store and you want to get as many eyes on your store as possible okay and if you only run a conversion campaign it's going to be really really hard for you to be profitable and that's why a lot of people quit up front okay now by running a traffic and a conversion campaign what you're going to want to do is set the traffic campaign up for your you know target audience and you're going to send them to your website right and then what your conversion campaign is going to do is retarget everybody that went to your website okay this way this audience is already warm to your store they're not seeing your product for the first time and you're trying to convert them right there obviously you're going to want to have two different ads and i'll get to that later but essentially this traffic campaign is going to be for completely new people that's never seen your shopify store before then your conversion campaign is going to get them back to your shopify store again to actually get them to make the conversion or purchase that you want them to do okay and so that's where i recommend that you start off with now a lot of people ask me you know what should be that budget split and i say test two um, you could either do 60% traffic and then 40% conversion, or if that doesn't work, up it to 70% traffic and 30% conversion, okay? That is the best strategy that I think that you should start off with, okay? And so now what I'm gonna do is walk you through the ad group level, which is below the campaign and the actual ads. Now I will say whether you're running a traffic campaign or you're running conversion campaigns, the way you actually set up your ad groups and ads are exactly the same. So I'm just gonna show you a conversion ad, but you're gonna wanna duplicate this the same way for a traffic campaign as well, okay? So now we're at the ad group level and this is where you set up your targeting and you try to find your ideal customer. Now with your ad group, this is also where you want to name the audience that you're targeting. Um, I like to do this actually at the end once I kind of determine who I'm targeting and then go back. But just for the sake of this video, again, I'm just going to do Shopify test and you just want to make sure uh, that you know you organize your name so you can easily find when you do your optimizations later you know which ad group is performing the best okay and so then you're going to go to promotional type you're going to click your website and then you're going to pick your pixel that you just created so in this we're going to do get money pixel and then for optimization since this is a conversion campaign you want to do complete payment okay um that's going to be your best objective that you want to go after because essentially those are the people that are making purchases now for placements you want to do select placement you do not want to do automatic placement and you want to select TikTok only i haven't found a lot of success you know picking these other placements uh always run your ads on TikTok, and then for creative type don't really worry about the automated creative optimization um, that's some really more advanced, um, you know, creative types. Just 
stick with turning this off. If you want to test this later, by all means, test it, but you really don't need this, okay? And then what you're going to want to do is come to custom targeting. And the first selection you can select is your location. I always recommend starting off with the native location that you're in and then always selecting all languages because uh, unless you're in a country that doesn't have one primary language, then maybe you want to switch it to that language. Uh, but in the United States, pretty much 98% of people speak English. Uh, so nine times out of 10, you're always going to get somebody that speaks English. So I always do all. But again, if you have a country to where that's different, change it by all means. And then you can select gender unless you have a product that is slanted to more male or more female, then you want to select your gender. But this is all, you know, customary. And then I recommend moving it. Normally it's on all. I recommend just doing 18 to 55 plus. Um, this just gives you more area um, to test different audiences for your product. But again, if you have market research that says that maybe 25 to 34 works best, then obviously, you know, put that in um, and then go from there. And then the cool thing about TikTok though, is that they have a lot of different targeting. That's a little bit different from like Facebook or Instagram or even like LinkedIn um, that you can really play around with. So they do have, uh, you know, household income, which is kind of similar to if you've won YouTube ads before, they have this as well. So if you have a higher end product that you're trying to sell on TikTok, you can go after, you know, the top 5% of certain area codes. So this might be something you'd want to test again, if you have a higher end product, which I think is super dope. Okay. And then also, if you're familiar with Facebook ads, they do have custom and lookalike audiences. Now, where you want this to come into play is once you start to build which, what I call is your seed audience, you start to get these purchases on your website, um, you can start to create custom audiences of those people. So like I said in the beginning, like once people start to add the cart, once people start to make purchases, you can pull these emails right and upload them to TikTok and start making lookalike audiences um so the more data that you can start to collect for your shopify store and you can give it back to TikTok, the better your ad performances will be okay and so you definitely want to utilize that that's a little bit of an advanced strategy um, but i did want to give you that for context just so you know when you see it okay and then moving on, they do have a lot of interests and behavior based targeting, which is pretty straightforward. I would say one of my favorite um, behavior targeting is going after specific hashtags, right? And so if there's hashtags that you know that your audience is, you know, watching and they like, and you know, these are your people, you can go after them. So I like to go after specific hashtags, uh, interest based targeting is still good too, especially if you're in a more broad niche like education, right? Or if you're in, you know, they have like drums, toys, lectures, like there's a lot of different things like for music educators. Um, so there's a lot of interest that you can go after. Okay, games, apps, so you can play around with these. Um, as well, but one of my favorites is going after specific hashtags, I found that they have performed really, really well. Okay, just like Facebook ads, they do have a targeting expansion. I don't recommend doing that unless you're getting a lot of conversions on your website and you've given TikTok a lot of data. So that is something that you can test in the future if you like. They do have devices. So if you have, let's just say, for the, the people that have, um, you know, products that go after a specific device, or let's just say you're selling phone cases and you're only selling iPhone cases, you can only go after iPhone users, which is cool. Um, so there may be a use case for certain people, but I did just want to show you that as well. And then moving on, you do have your budget. Since this is a CBO, it is going to run, you know, like I said before, based on that CBO campaign and the performance. So you don't really have to worry about that. Um, some people do like to have specific times um, and you can test what specific times work best for you. Some people like just to do 7 a.m. 7 to 12 uh, a.m., right? And they don't like to spend late at night. I've always found just doing all day has worked best. Uh, but if you know you have a product that makes sense to only run ads at a certain time, you can select that. So that level of uh, granularity, I think is cool. But again, just do all day. You can keep it simple, right? And then I... Uh, 
since you're doing a CBO campaign, everything is lowest cost. And that is it for your ad group. Again, with the CBO campaign, um, you want to make sure that you have three to five ad groups and test different audiences. Okay. You can have one that's super broad, right? No interest targeting for one campaign. Then you can do two other campaigns that have some interest that you think your audience is um, would like, but that's it for ad groups. Okay, so now we've made it to the final step, which is your actual ad that you're gonna run on TikTok, okay? And so what you're gonna do, again, you wanna name it. It's very, very important. So test, we're gonna do Shopify test creative. Boom, and this is where under the identify, you can put your regular TikTok account and you can run videos and link your account that you already have that you've posted. Um, so this may be good if you already have a video on TikTok that is performing very, very well and you wanna test it as an ad, this is how you do it. All you have to do is link your account and then you'll be able to post videos um, you know, from your regular TikTok account, okay? But in this, I'm just gonna do regular and show you how to do it regular. And then all you're gonna do is wanna identify your business name and you're gonna type in, uh, for this, I'm just gonna do talking with Tonio. And that's just how, you know, you're gonna show up when people see your ad, they're just gonna see this name. Obviously you wanna put your business name, right? But that's all you're gonna do. And you can see it right here on this right hand side, okay? And then you can upload a video or a collection of ads. I've always found that nine by 16 videos in the 21 to 34 second range have performed the best. Just wanna make sure that your ad looks very similar to what's already on the platform. You know, doing some really good market research and finding other ads that are successful um, is gonna work really, really well. But I just found 21 to 34 seconds have performed the best on TikTok. This is where you can upload your video very straightforward, right? Um, just wanna make sure that you add here to these file requirements. Boom. Okay, and this is where you put your URL, okay? Um, so you just put in your URL for your website. Very simple. Um, you just wanna make sure that you agree. Unless you have a disclaimer, then you can put a disclaimer um, and you can do a standard call to action learn more is always good and then um some a little bit more advanced strategies if you want to use like utms which is just tracking through google analytics just to know exactly where this person came from you can input these and then that is it you have completely created your first campaign now if you want me to do a video on how to read and optimize your TikTok ad account let me know in the comments down below and if you got value out of this video make sure you like and subscribe and i recommend that you check out this video here where i show you how to promote your shopify store on TikTok, but the organic way